Who doesn't like a good blue wire look? To be honest, the more I get into filmmaking and cinematography, the more I understand that actually blue hour is the real hour where the magic happens. I used to love shooting sunset and sunrise and I still do, but whenever the sun goes down or just before the sun goes up and that blue hour moment, everything looks so nice, so beautiful, just cinematic. And today we're gonna find out how to get this beautiful moody look in DaVinci Resolve. There are a few ways you can do this and I'm not saying this is the best way, this is just the way I want to do it. To start off, we need a reference image. It's very important that whenever you copy a grade, you find an image to reference what you wanna recreate. For this instance, as always, I use frame set and I found a few frames that I really like. Mostly CT Blue Wire vibe because that's the kind of vibe that I wanna recreate. Once you have your frames, let's get straight into DaVinci Resolve right here in DaVinci Resolve. And as you can see, we got this two frame. What you wanna do is drag and drop your reference frame. We got this one, which is a GIF. And then we got the next one, which is just like a very, very cool frame. I like the, the little blue, green, yellowish lights over here. I think it looks very cool. And just everything else is exactly the vibe that I wanna go for. So once we got that, we just select all of our clips and drag it into our timeline. Let's move on to color. Here we got our reference frame and what we wanna do is right click, grab still, go in the second one, grab still. So we got our two frames here. First of all, we double click on the first frame. We hide gallery and we make sure we are here onto this one. And we're gonna go down to selected still images. And now, as you can see, if we go on, for example, oh, say let's start with this one. Here we got one next to each other. Here we go. So we can uh, make a grade here and then copy and paste it onto here. So as always, I'm editing on S-Log3. So we're gonna add a bunch of nodes just to start off. All right, so the first one, is a color space transform and the last one is a color space transform. So let's do our S log three transformation from S log three to Da Vinci white gamut. And then we're gonna go from Da Vinci white gamut to Rec 709. There is it. Rec 709. Gamma 2.4. So there we go. A nice, beautiful Rec 709 image. Now, what we're going to do is start to name these nodes. So the last one, it's our look. The one before that's going to be our halation and bloom. The one before that is going to be our grain. And then here we got our vignette. And we got our primaries. Usually this is kind of like a nice note tree that I start with. And then I, you know, I go from here. So vignette, halation, grain. It's all the thing we do at the end. The first thing I want to do is get my look right. And my look, I usually create within my color wheels and within my curves. So one thing that you can do is go down here and here you're gonna see the scopes or the waveform. I usually like to keep the waveform and you see how this one image is very, very balanced while our image is not so balanced. So what I like to do is just bring everything down to start with and then start to play around until you kind of see the, obviously it's not gonna be the same, but here you see like the red, green, blue. I'm keeping an eye on these ones because this is a bit too confusing. But if you look over here, the red and the green are pretty much the same distance and the blue is a bit further away. So I think this is a good start in terms of curves. We can even bring this down a little bit more to be honest. And I'm gonna go into our curves. What I'm gonna do here is play around my highlights, midtones, and shadows. First thing first, the highlights are pretty much yellowish green. So we're gonna remove a lot of the, 
So we're gonna remove a lot of the red and we're gonna add a little bit of blue and a tiny bit of green. And already this looks very nice to me. Right, we're gonna move on to the mid-tones. Bring the red down, bring the blue up. Tiny bit green. And then the last one is the shadows. The shadows usually I remove a little bit of blue and a little bit of red and then I balance it out with the green. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. Now, let's say this is the look. And to me, this looks already very, very nice. If you look at this little light here, and the overall vibe looks very similar to this already. Now, we're gonna move into primaries where we're gonna make a bigger change into our curve to make the whole image pop. We're gonna make a similar S curve making sure we don't crush the blacks too much but here we just adjust a bit of the mood and this is a lot more contrasty so we add a little bit more contrast here too and then in the primaries i like to adjust my colors a little bit more so here there's no reds and we have a lot of red here and also we have a lot of oranges and the yellow are not very the way we want it to be so we're going to move our yellow to the green a tiny bit and we can check and after yeah that's good our orange we're gonna bring it down a tiny bit just a tiny bit there we go and then the red we can't really do much about it because there's not red here but i think this is a pretty cool red vibe and then the blue we're gonna try and match this we're gonna move all of the cyan towards a more blue vibe and then we're gonna go into our curves we're gonna go into the loom and then we're gonna go here. And here you can adjust the luminosity of the blue. And we're gonna just bring it down and make it a bit darker. Here we go. All right, that looks good. And then here we can kind of play around with this and just make it look as similar as we can. Now, one thing I wanna do is bringing down the highlights here because the highlights are very crushed here and then we're gonna adjust this a little bit more all right I think this is this is pretty good to me it looks pretty good so the next step is adding our grain because we wanted to make it look the moody film look right so our grain if we zoom in right here so this is without grain and this is with grain. Usually what I like to do is going to 35 millimeter, either 200 or, yeah, 400T looks very good right now. Then we're gonna move into our halation. I'm gonna add a bit of halation. And just by adding that, how much more cinematic everything looks. I love halation. And then you can adjust the threshold here, but usually the way it comes with it's very nice. And then we're gonna adjust the glow a little bit. Here you see it's obviously too much, so usually a tiny bit. I already shot this with a black mist filter on, so there's not much to add, but this looks beautiful to me. So we're gonna go into vignette and we're gonna add a bit of a vignette. The way I like to add a vignette is going to the power window so your reference frame will disappear. And we're gonna add a vignette this way we're gonna make sure the mask is inverted and then just bring down the curves so you see the vignette comes in usually just like that yeah that's it just puts more focus on what's happening look at this so if we go back this is not graded and this is graded and to me this looks absolutely beautiful now let's just copy this grade and let's see how this reacts within the rest of the frames that we made. All right, so we got this one. I'm gonna copy and paste it. And you can see that for this example, it's a bit too green, it's not blue enough. So what I would do is go into the look and just adjust those highlights. Bring back a little bit less green, definitely less reds. And just play around with the blues. And now you see we recreated a very similar scope here that if we go into this 
here we go that's easier to understand we definitely need a lot less of everything here here we go like this we even remove the vignette in this case and then we're gonna go into here and try and match those blues that's what you want to do it's kind of trying to match those blues as best as we can i would be pretty happy with this and if you if you tell me this image and this one they go amazing together now here we have a different clip of zach and it's kind of like a similar vibe in the city and if i just play this one look how moody this is this is so beautiful it's super it's exactly the way i like to have it and here's more clips from the same trip to bangkok again just copy pasted it and if we copy paste this other one you see that it's too blue but this first one that we did it's for this city vibe is beautiful moving on to this one this is almost too blue on this highlight because this tuk tuk had some crazy blue highlights. So in this case, I would go to primaries and just bring down the blue. Simple as that. Make sure you just bring down the blues all together. And even the greens, I think the greens are a bit too, a bit too much in this case. And look at this beautiful city bluear cinematic look. Now this is a bit of a different vibe because I think if I copy and paste the same, yeah, it's not gonna work. But if I use the second one that I made, because of the way the shot was taken, the white bands and everything, the suns was just gone down. So there was a bit of a weird kind of orange halo there. So again, you just have to play around with it and get to a point where obviously you're not making the image too fake, but this is for example, beautiful right now. Look at this. This is a before and that's an after. This was shot in clear blue R. Obviously, if you shoot in blue R, everything will look a lot better. But if you can't shoot in blue R, that's also fine. This is from the city one. And this is from the city one desaturated. I think the desaturated one, look at this. This is so beautiful. That's so cool. Such a cool vibe because it, you can tell that it was shot in the right way. And the mood that you get out of it is just so cool and this last one was shot during the day but the sun was already gone down and this was in lisbon so if we just copy and paste it's gonna look weird i think pretty much everything copied and pasted there oh this could be nice yeah i think this is probably the nicest one but in this case it just looks a bit too fake so you can tell that if you don't shoot this in the actual blue hour or just on a very cloudy day, it's just not gonna look that nice. So try and stick to shooting at the right time of the day if you wanna get this moody blue hour look. This was shot at night and at this, yeah, with this one, maybe a bit more blue in this case. This is such a moody look. So yeah, you just gotta kinda remember to shoot with the right settings and shoot at the right time of the day. And if you apply such an easy node tree, you can get a beautiful moody blue hour look. And this is how you get this moody blue hour look. To be honest, there are so many ways, as I said before, to get this look. Another one, for example, is getting my Filmic lots that I just released and they're now 40% off. Check out the link on top of the description. And thank you guys again for the support. Thanks for sticking around until here. I hope you learned something new in this little DaVinci Resolve tutorial. And I'll see you guys in the next one.